So hello, welcome back to my channel. I feel like we haven't talked wedding in a really long time and that's because my last video about this was in July. Hello, if this is your first video that you're watching of mine, hi, I am Liz and this is my second wedding planning update. I've done a few vlogs that included the wedding in it, but this is my second video talking about my upcoming wedding with my fiance. My fiance Mike and I have been together for going on seven years. We've been engaged for about a year and a half. The wedding is coming soonish, <laughs> soonish. So just to catch you up, if you haven't seen the previous vlog, we live in Texas, I'm from Florida, he's from New York, but we're getting married in Colorado. So I'll go ahead and link that video here, but we have a lot to talk about today, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So first of all, this beautiful headband is from my bachelorette party that I just got back from, so we will discuss this more later, but Brittany did a great job finding this on Etsy, so more on that in a bit. So when we left off back in July, I still had a lot to do. And I just realized my cactus isn't in frame. I had it all decorated for Halloween and Christmas and I left my cactus out. So now we can continue. So when we left off in July, I still had a lot to do. We would barely started. We basically had our venue and we had our guest list and we had an idea of what we were doing, but I hadn't done much else. And a lot has changed in the past seven months. So because of that, I went ahead and made myself notes so I could keep track of everything because it's a lot. So let's start off with, I think the thing everyone wants to know about when you're planning a wedding. And that is, I said yes to the dress. I said yes back in September. Now technically, I found the dress in Florida with Brittany. I'll link the vlog here. I went to Florida in July of last year and went dress shopping with Brittany and the second store we went to, we found the dress. Once I put it on, it was the last dress I tried on at the second store and when I put it on, I was like, ooh. And when I walked out and I saw Brittany's face, I was like, this, this might be a winner. We still kept shopping. I still liked at other places. When I got back to Houston, I had to find a dress store that had it because that's the struggle of finding a dress that you love in Florida. Thankfully, I found a shop here in Houston that carried it. And not only did they carry it, but they carried it in my size. So I got to try it as if it were my actual dress, which was so helpful in knowing that it was the one. But just to be sure, in August, my mom came to visit. So I went out dress shopping one last time with my mom and Mike's mom. And I have some footage for you guys that I saved because these two were the runner up dresses. The first one I will show is the runner up from Florida. So this was the second contender. It was from the last shop that Brittany and I went to and I really did like it a lot. So it was the original runner up for the dress I chose. I loved that it was a little bit of a blush color. I love the detail on it. However, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it wouldn't really fit for our venue. And the majority of people who I was sending dress photos to voted for my favorite over this. So I think this is a beautiful dress, but not right for our venue or really the wedding we were going for, the vibe. And now that we've gotten further into wedding planning, I know that that was the right decision. But then we found another runner up when my mom visited. And so this is that dress. It was beautiful. I really loved the neckline of it. I loved the shape it gave me. But again, there just was something that wasn't 100% right. I couldn't tell what the back was going to look like because it wasn't my size, so it couldn't zip it up. I couldn't tell how deep the V went in the back, and that was tough to visualize. I love the detail on it. It definitely fit the wedding vibe that I was going for, but once again, my mind kept going, my heart kept going, 
to that original favorite dress. In September, I went and said yes to the dress and I ordered my favorite. As of filming this video, I have gotten the call that it has arrived. So I ordered in September and it arrived in February. So next weekend, which will have already happened by the time you see this, I am going to try it on and I will get to see my actual dress. I'm so excited, I can't wait. It's all happening guys, it's happening. So obviously I can't show you that dress. You'll have to wait till after the wedding to see my actual dress but just trust me it is beautiful it's stunning and I can't wait for you guys to see it and I can't wait for Mike to see it because it's good it's a good one I love it so in September I said yes to the dress and in between that I was doing a lot of wedding planning and preparation because I knew we were going to Colorado to cross off a bunch of wedding items off our list while also doing engagement pictures so in October which you guys have seen those vlogs, hopefully. If not, here's the link. We saw the venue. So we booked online, sight unseen. Basically just saw a bunch of pictures of it, loved it. So we did go see the venue in person. It's gorgeous, I love it. Prior to the trip to Colorado, I did book a florist and it is the one that I talked about in the previous video. So she's very affordable. She grows her own flowers. It's not quite as polished as some of the really expensive ones, but we're not going too crazy with the flowers. We're getting married outdoors in Colorado. It's gorgeous enough as it is. So we're basically just doing basic, basically doing basic. <laughs> You know, your bouquets, your boutonnieres, your corsages for the mothers, and a few little pieces of decor. Otherwise, just using the natural beauty of Colorado to decorate for the wedding. We also met with a local business to order wedding favors. So I still need to get it back in contact with him and make sure everything is good, but we should have our wedding favors already arranged with a local business. I also booked rentals for the venue. So I have drinkware, linens, cake, display, that kind of stuff that because we're getting married at a house, they wouldn't necessarily have all of the items you would need for a kind of banquet style wedding. That was actually really inexpensive. I used a vendor that the owner of the house recommended and super inexpensive, worth it to not have to bring all those things with me and purchase. It's cheaper to do it that way than it is to purchase all the items and try to bring it with me. So worked out great. We also ultimately decided that we are doing pizza for the wedding, pizza and salad, because every caterer in the area that I talked to wanted an insane amount of money. And I think in the previous vlog, I said we're having a very small wedding. We are literally having 13 people at the wedding and that includes Mike and I. So there are 11 guests. 13 of us total, and that's if everyone comes. We have one that I'm still not sure of. So with 13 people, I didn't wanna spend $2,000 on food. There were no affordable options in that area because we are getting married in a small town. So ultimately, we are going for pizza, and it is a local pizza place. We tried it while we were there, and it is delicious. Everyone loves pizza. It's a low key wedding. We're gonna have fun with it. We're also going to do our own grazing table as the like appetizer for cocktail hour. Planning to buy a bunch of items for charcuterie. I got butcher paper and we're just gonna do a grazing table on the island in the kitchen and have you know crackers, meats, cheeses, fruits displayed out for everyone to enjoy while they have some cocktails before we move into pizza and fun time. It's gonna be very DIY and very low key and trying to keep cost minimal local pizza place. It's gonna be delicious. I'm excited for it. While we were there, we also did a cupcake testing, tasting, testing, both. <laughs> with our baker. Found a local baker. She's extremely affordable. Again, we're skipping having a wedding cake. Don't see the point of spending a bunch of money on a really decorative wedding cake when there's only 13 of us and we don't really like cake that much. I much prefer cupcakes, so that's what we're doing. We did three orders of cupcakes with a baker's dozen so we can have 13. So each person can have three cupcakes if they want of three different flavors and it's still less than $100, so. Feel pretty good about that one. We chose our flavors, gonna leave those as a surprise for later. They were good and I can't wait and I got little decorations to put on them. They're gonna be adorable. Whew, not even through the Colorado trip yet. After all of that, 
We went to Colorado Springs, which is where my hair and makeup people are based out of and also where we wanted to do our engagement pictures. In the morning, I went and did my hair and makeup test with my makeup artist and hairstylist. There's two separate people. They're going to be doing my hair and makeup and Brittany's hair and makeup. We did a few different versions of my hair until we got it right. Then she took it all down so my hair would just be down for the engagement photos. It turned out really nice. Again, I'm not gonna quite share that yet because I don't want Mike to see it yet. It was really pretty. I ended up ordering a hairpiece on Etsy from Russia. <laughs> it took like two months to get here, but it's beautiful. It was only $30, so worth the long wait for it. It's super lightweight and beautiful. If you notice, I have been growing my hair out a little longer than it was, and that's because when she curled it for the hairstyle, my hair was just too short. So now, as you can see, I curled it today and I feel like it's at the right length to actually have enough space to curl and look good for pictures. And then once the wedding's over, it's getting chopped back because I liked my short hair. The makeup, she nailed it on the first try. I was very clear that I wanted natural makeup and I still wanted my freckles. I wanted to look like myself, but just look really good in pictures. And she nailed it, looked great. The engagement pictures look fantastic. I look like myself, they knocked it out of the park. After my hair and makeup was done, then I got back to the hotel, got ready, and we went straight to Garden of the Gods to do our engagement pictures. And I will share some of my favorite pictures here while I'm talking about the experience. As we pulled into Garden of the Gods, it started snowing very briefly and I was a little concerned because we brought warm clothes, but of course you're not wearing jackets and such to do engagement pictures. So was a little concerned, but thankfully it only snowed for a couple minutes. Not gonna lie, it was pretty chilly out there for the pictures, but we got through it. We had fun. Allie, our wedding photographer, was great. She made it very comfortable. She was very quick. She had us do fun things to kind of knock us off our game and show our real emotion and show real laughter without it being really cheesy. One of my favorite series of pictures, which I'll put here, is she had us create a secret handshake, but the trick was we couldn't use our hands. And these pictures are so funny and they're us just being natural and having fun and legitimately laughing together. And I love them, so she did a great job. We had time to do one quick change, which we just changed in the car. And then we went to another location and all of this was done in an hour. I was expecting us to be there for like two, two and a half hours, but she knocked all of this out in an hour, which was fantastic for Mike, because as you guys know, if you've been following my channel, you know Mike hates the camera. He's very supportive of me vlogging. He knows this is my passion. He knows this is my favorite hobby. I love creating these videos, and he knows it's my thing, so he's supportive. Man, he does not like being on camera most of the time, and he hates having his picture taken. I think she did a great job of knowing that, being aware of that, and working as quickly as she could to get what she needed to release him into freedom. I think that bodes well for the wedding. I just love all of them. They're beautiful. We used them on our Christmas card. We displayed them in our house. They're gonna be decor at the wedding. I put them in our guest book. I just love them and can't wait to see our wedding pictures. Mm. Whew. Okay, so I think we are through Colorado now. <laughs> I think that's everything we did that wasn't just recreational in Colorado, which we did just enjoy. We did some exploring. We saw some different towns we'd never seen before. We went to some hot springs ate some delicious food. It was a fantastic little mini vacation on top of wedding planning. I ended up ordering save the dates from Shutterfly. We did Shutterfly magnets, which I will show you guys those after the wedding. I'll do like a recap and just show you all of that kind of stuff. I ordered invitations from Minted. Unfortunately, the smallest size you can order from Minted I think is 25. Obviously, we only have 13 guests and most of those are pairs, so didn't need 25 invitations, but hey, we've got them for the scrapbook. <laughs> With a coupon, with everything done, I tried to keep it minimal on upgrades. We ended up with $96 for our invitations. It's more than I wanted to spend for 13 guests. It's one of those things where we're gonna frame it, we're gonna cherish it, it's beautiful, it's perfect for our wedding. And with Minted, we got a free upgraded website Really the $96 covered the invites and also the RSVPs because we're gonna have our guests just RSVP on our website. We also went and got our wedding band. So we went to the same store where we got my engagement ring. When we picked out this engagement ring, it had a matching wedding band. And so I was considering doing that, but I didn't love it even back then. I wanted a very thin and dainty 
wedding band. So as luck would have it, when we got back, they didn't have the matching wedding band anymore. So I found one that I love and that's perfect with it. It's from actually the same company, the same designer as my engagement ring, but it's not a matching set. Still beautiful, it's very dainty, I love it. The really fun experience of that was finding Mike's ring. He's never worn rings before, so we really went through the entire case. And I think he tried on every style of ring you could try to try to get what his vibe is, to understand what looked good on him, what fit his personality, what he would be comfortable with wearing every day. And I love the one we chose. Very him, I think. Excited to get to wear them eventually. We have them, but we just have to hold on to them <laughs> and try them on every once in a while just to see, you know, what it's like. Trucking right along, last weekend Jeff was in town and so while he was in town we went to Suit Supply and ordered suits, well actually picked up suits for Mike and Jeff. Picked out beautiful suits for them. There's something that they can definitely wear over and over in the future. It was super convenient. We went into Suit Supply. The guy who helped us was... I can't remember his name now, but he was fantastic and he was basically able to just look at them and know what their size was and got Mike into a suit that fit him perfectly. So the only alterations Mike needed was a him on the pants. Otherwise his suit fit him to a T. Jeff's needed just minimal tailoring. We let them know that Jeff was leaving like in two days and they had all the alterations done in two hours. <laughs> we came home and got the call like, hey, everything's ready. So they went and picked it up the next day. Excited to show you guys, but you can't see it yet. And they're gonna look very handsome on the wedding day, for sure. I think I've said this in the previous video, but obviously with only 13 guests, we were having a very small wedding. So I have Brittany as my matron of honor. Mike has Jeff as his best man. And then my best friend from high school, Sarah, who you guys saw briefly in a vlog recently, she is going to be our officiant. That's our wedding party, essentially. And we can have Sarah as our officiant because in Colorado, they are very lax on their rules as far as who can marry you. For those not in the US, I'm not sure how it works in other countries, but in the US, marriage laws are on a state by state basis. So every state has different rules and if you're getting married out of state, you have to do a lot of research into what you need to do in order to get your marriage license. In order to get married, Florida is really weird. It's like a three day waiting period. So you get your marriage license, you have to get your marriage license in the county you're getting married and you have to wait three days before you can have your ceremony and it has to be an ordained individual. So a priest, a pastor, someone who's taken the ordained course online. <laughs> someone has to take a test in order to be ordained to marry you. In Colorado, it's not like that. So basically you go to whatever county you want in Colorado, pick up your marriage license. We're gonna do it in Denver when we fly in. And then when it's time to get married, the person does not need to be ordained. Because you already have your marriage license, that's basically giving you the right to get married. I forget what the proper term is, but basically we we're self-ordaining our marriage. Like we we're both agreeing to get married. So that is a self, I'll put the word here if I can find it, but it's something like self-ordaining. Like the two of us, are agreeing to get married and so thus we have ordained <laughs> that we are married and thus we can have Sarah officiate the weddings. That part we still need to work on. We have asked her, she has said yes, but we have not designed anything for the ceremony yet. We are planning to do our own vows, but as far as building the rest of the ceremony, still gotta do that. As far as decorations and wedding details, I decided a theme since the last time we talked and I'm gonna keep that theme a secret. There are nerdy elements tied in with that. There's definitely some Doctor Who tied into the wedding in subtle ways. Like I said before, it's a beautiful venue. Colorado's gorgeous. So I'm not doing a ton of decor, but I am doing little touches just to bring our theme into it. Pretty much everything I've gotten has been off Etsy, Amazon, and then I picked up a few things at World Market. It's all very affordable. It's all small stuff because I need to pack it in a suitcase to take it. So sorry, you must wait to see all of that. We're on the home stretch here. I've got two more topics to discuss. We have planned our honeymoon or at least started to plan our honeymoon. We have changed locations from our original idea. So if you asked me a question during Vlogmas and it was, where are you going on your honeymoon? And I dropped hints, but didn't actually say where. We're not going there anymore. <laughs> but we decided another place that was on our bucket list. I haven't decided how much of all of this I'm going to vlog. Obviously, I think I'm gonna hand my camera to Brittany during a lot of the wedding prep and let her vlog a lot of that stuff. I haven't decided what I'm doing about the honeymoon yet. So there might be vlogs from it, there might not. I've got time to decide how I wanna do that. Either way, I'm very excited about the location we chose and excited to go on another adventure with Mike and <sighs> It's gonna be fun. So the last thing I wanna talk about for today's video is that I went on my bachelorette party and it was the best time. When Brittany and I were discussing plans for the bachelorette, 
the idea of Mardi Gras popped up and I haven't been or I hadn't been to Universal's Mardi Gras since I moved to Texas in 2016 and I missed it. And I have a few friends from Hornets that were in it this year. It just seemed like with having the parades every single day now that you could go on a Thursday and enjoy the parade without having the massive crowds from the concerts on Saturday. And it just seemed like the ideal way to go have fun, party with my bestie, enjoy our favorite place, Universal, just have a really fun bachelorette that's not over the top because I'm not a party girl. I'm not a clubber. I'm not doing a shot. So this was a nice way to enjoy some drinks, have fun with my bestie, let loose, but it'd still be something that we love. We chose Mardi Gras and ugh, it was the best decision. We had the best time. We stayed at Sapphire Falls and I don't want to say too much because those vlogs are starting Friday. So you'll get to see the whole adventure and all the fun things we did starting Friday. I think I've got four or five vlogs coming from that trip because we just did so much and we had so much fun together. There's some really wonderful moments there. You'll get to see me pick this up for the first time and we wear it all around the park and all the Universal performers loved this. They loved us. We got so much attention and had so much fun with it. Hoda from the Today Show saw this and wished me a congratulations. And I have it on film, so you'll get to see it. I caught that moment on film. You'll get to see Hoda congratulating me, so. Super thrilled about that. Brittany had no idea who Hoda was for the record. <laughs> but it was exactly what I needed. A weekend away with my bestie, having a blast at Universal, even though it was cold. We had a great time, saw Mardi Gras, and just loved every second of it. Had to do the bachelorette party a little earlier than you conventionally do because of Mardi Gras, and this is the weekend that I could go with work and not have stuff I had to do with work. It also had been five months since we'd seen each other. We couldn't wait that long. We needed to do the bachelorette early. Props if you sat through all of that. I feel like I talked about a lot, but I know you guys have been waiting for it. I apologize for making you wait seven months before I talked about it again. So I'm sure there'll be uh, another video or two before the wedding comes because I still have some more things to cross off my list. But as you can tell, we're on the home stretch. We have a lot accomplished already. We are excited for it. Just have to hammer down the final details, go off on our next adventure. So that's gonna be it for me today. But like I said, Bachelorette trip vlogs starting Friday. Stay tuned and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.